Modern agriculture machines that are at another level. Number 10, rotary tiller. A motorized cultivator is referred to as a rotary tiller, sometimes known as a rototiller, power tiller, rotivator, rotary hoe, or rotary plow. It is either self-propelled or pulled as an attachment behind a two-wheel tractor or a four-wheel tractor to till the soil using revolving tines or blades. A rotary tiller is a tool used to break up soil and prepare a seedbed for planting. It has a set of curved tines that are attached to a revolving shaft. An excellent piece of equipment for loosening soil in an existing garden or converting a plot of land into additional garden space is a tractor-mounted rotary tiller. For household gardens, small, self-propelled rotary tillers are frequently employed. Rotary tillers are used on farms when they are attached to two-wheel or even four-wheel tractors. Additionally, rotary tillers have been used to prepare the ground for road construction and clean the outside of oil field pipes. Number 9. Butte Disc Chain A flexible chain with discs spaced every 6.25 inches apart is called the Butte Disc Chain. The chains plow the soil while bearing between 40 and 77 pounds per foot of their own weight. The farmer has the option of a no-till chain or up to 4 inches of soil penetration thanks to this variable weight selection. Butte discs can be used to control both weeds that have already broken the surface and those that haven't yet. Butte discs break up and size leftovers into manageable chunks, allowing for quicker breakdown and ideal seedbed conditions. All butte discs can be swapped out as they become worn and are replaceable. Any frame on the market now can be equipped with the discs. Number 8. Modern Balers A baler, sometimes known as a hay baler, is a piece of farm equipment used to condense a crop that has been cut and raked, such as hay, cotton, flax straw, salt marsh hay, or silage, into small bales that are simple to handle, transport, and store. Bales are frequently designed to dry and maintain a plant's inherent worth, such as its nutritional content. Bales can be rectangular or cylindrical, varied in diameters, and bound with twine, strapping, netting, or wire using a variety of balers that are frequently employed. The round baler is currently the most used form of baler in the industrialized nations. It creates rolling or round bales in the form of cylinders. The structure features a weather-resistant thatched roof appearance. Utilizing rubberized belts, fixed rollers, or a mix of the two, grass is rolled up within the baler. The bale is wrapped in twine or netting to maintain its shape until it reaches a specific size. Number 7. Reaper Binder The reaper binder, often known as a binder, is an agricultural tool that enhances the straightforward reaper. Charles Baxter Withington, a jeweler from Janesville, Wisconsin, created the binder in 1872. A binder also binds the stems into bundles or sheaves in addition to cutting the small grain crop. These sheaves are then typically shocked into small tippy-like A-shaped conical stooks so that the grain can dry for a few days before taken up and threshed. A wire was employed to bind the bundles in Withington's first binder. There were issues with utilizing wire, but William Deering quickly created a binder that worked by using twine and a knotter instead. Number 6. Rotary Hose Rotary hose are adaptable tillage implements that can be used for a variety of purposes. The rotary hoe can improve crop emergence and lessen soil crusting. Additionally, it barely compacts the soil. On fine textured soil, the likelihood of soil crusting after heavy rain is considerable. A prompt response to soil crusts will help you avoid a weak stand. When enough rain has not fallen to activate pre-emergence herbicides, Weeds that arise soon after planting can be controlled with a rotary hoe. The rotary hoe greatly improves infiltration and prevents erosion by causing very little disruption to crop residue. Also, the cost is reasonable. The cost of diesel fuel for rotary hoeing is 0.20 gallons per acre. Number 5. Bale Trailer Two rows of bales can fit on one version of the trailer, while three rows can fit on the other. The retaining arm must extend at least halfway up the bale to keep it firmly on the trailer, regardless of whether the bales are round or square. You must precisely stack the bales when utilizing the trailer. The frames are not intended to be utilized to clean up a load that has been improperly piled. Once the bales are loaded, all that's left to do to get them ready for transport is to elevate the frames that hold them in place. 
It is safer because no one needs to stand close to the exposed bales as you would when using straps, and it is also considerably quicker and simpler. When unloading the trailer, it's crucial to keep your distance from the frames as they descend in case any bales that may have moved during transport fell. Number 4. Agitation Boat In order to maintain solids suspended during the agitation process, the Wolverine Series Agitation Boat is fitted with two powerful articulating propellers that circulate enormous volumes of liquid at a high velocity. For optimal effectiveness and power, the Wolverine's propellers are driven by a distinct hydrostatic hydraulic system from other machine activities. The maximum flow rate for each individual prop is 12,000 plus GPM. Two 20-inch diameter regless fully articulating propellers are fitted to the Wolverine. When the user releases the control joystick on the remote, these props can be adjusted to zero out in a variety of settings. Trimming the propellers purposefully allows for more accurate control, strong direction flow, and a greater grip on floating solids. Number 3. Mechanical Tree Shaker A hydraulic cylinder is used by a mechanical tree shaker, a mechanical harvesting device, to gather fruits, nuts, and berries. A large mechanical arm is coupled to the mechanical tree shaker, a tiny tractor-like vehicle. A large metal claw attached to the end of this arm is used to gently shake trees. The fundamental idea behind the tree shaker is to accelerate each fruit and nut to create an inertia force that is stronger than the fruits and the nuts bonding force with the tree. A mechanical tree shaker establishes the ideal mechanical boundaries where the resulting force only collects the dry, ripe nuts, berries, and fruits and leaves the unripe ones to ripen. As a result, picking each fruit or superfruit from the tree requires less work. Number 2. Sugarcane Harvester A sizable piece of agricultural equipment called a sugarcane harvester is used to harvest and partially process sugarcane. The device, which was created in the 1920s, nevertheless resembles the combined harvester in both function and appearance. The device, which is essentially a storage container on a truck with a mechanical extension, splits the cane into pieces after cutting the stalks at the base. These are then put either into the onboard container or another truck that is following along. Following that, waste is expelled back onto the field where it serves as fertilizer. Number 1. Trailed Sprayer It is highly stable, easy to move, and features a double wheel design. It uses an imported nozzle with excellent penetrability, homogeneous droplets, and good atomization, as well as a ceramic plunger pump that requires no maintenance. It has an air-assisted spraying system that uses fans to rotate fruit tree leaves over and spray pesticide on both sides with good spraying results, sending the pesticide deep inside the crown. This sprayer finishes spraying from bottom to top, starting with the leaves backs. The experiment demonstrates that the leaves back has better absorption than the leaves front, which results in effective foliage dressing. Various insecticides and foliage fertilizers can be sprayed using the trailer sprayer's adjustable spraying rate and droplets. Most orchard plants can accommodate 1.5 meter wheel spans. It is simple to use and may be done by one person. Both single side and double side spraying are feasible. It must be utilized along with a tractor. It is highly efficient and reduces the need for pesticides, water, and labor. 